Families in Brockton want answers about a $14 million budget deficit in the school district, and they're likely even more frustrated tonight because an emergency school committee hearing didn't clear up the confusion. WBZ's Christina Rex is live in Brockton with a look at what did happen at the meeting. Christina? Yeah, Lisa, listen, the Brockton school community is all too familiar with budget deficits. Just this past May, 130 school teachers lost their jobs because of a budget deficit. And now with a $14 million one on the table, parents are trying to figure out what happened here and who's to blame. And they came here to try and get some answers. A nine and a half minute public meeting ended in frustration. Parents and teachers left Brockton High School with none of the answers to the questions they came in looking for. How did we get here? Where's the money? Where's the money? So what happened? Who dropped the ball? There's a $14.4 million deficit in last year's budget. The multi-million dollar mystery only announced Thursday night, the same day the school superintendent, Mike Thomas, went out on indefinite medical leave. Surprised, shocked, kind of in disbelief. I'm concerned, I'm angry. So what happened to the money and who's to blame? Those are the questions this packed auditorium wanted answered in Friday's emergency meeting. And here I call the emergency special meeting. Instead, the school committee appointed a new interim superintendent, voted for an independent investigation into the missing money, and then went into a private executive session. Did you get the answers you were looking for? No, I did not. I'm actually a little disgusted. School is just days away. Kids start on Wednesday. And while this missing money isn't a part of this year's budget, a sudden change in leadership and a lack of transparency is frustrating for the community. Did you learn anything new? That you can tell us? Maria hasn't changed in a minute. We just took two votes that were new. We didn't, we didn't have to come out today if they were going to hold a five minute session. We could have got an email or an automated voice call that we always get. Now, one thing we did learn is that that new interim superintendent, he was the former deputy superintendent, he's very well liked by the community, it seems, here. We're going to hear more from him, actually, soon at the meeting because there's going to be another meeting coming up on Wednesday after the first day of school where parents and community members will have the opportunity to voice their opinions and hopefully ask some questions. For now, live in Brockton, Christina Rex, WBZ News.